So I think what I'll do is I'll ask a couple of questions and I'll leave the rest of the floor then to give you your questions. So I think the first thing I'd like to ask is, is there something unique about New York that allows it to have such a diverse range of people or are those people as ordinary as any other people? You just manage to get those stories or is there something unique about New York City? I'm about to choke. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes and no. Um, you know, it's impossible to, you know, to deny that, human, that New York is extremely diverse. I mean, you just look at the map. It's like chopped up into like 14 different neighborhoods. Each one's got its own flavor, its own type of people. Um, that's just Manhattan, too. You go out into Brooklyn, it's a whole new world. I mean, it's the first stop um, for most people moving to America, you know? And a lot of people don't leave once they get there. So you just naturally have so many different types of ethnicities, a lot of different incomes, and every time, you know, every time you go up and down the income ladder, stories change. Every time you go across the, the, the spectrum of ethnicity, stories change. So it does have, you know, a, a large diverse amount of people, but the longer that Humans of New York goes on, the, the more I like pride myself on just picking the most ordinary person there is, it's evolved a lot. It's even evolved past the first book a lot. The first book's very visual, very colorful, very eccentric, very loud. There's a lot of personalities. Where if you, you follow the blog recently, it's just like I'm very, I just find normal, just everyday people just sitting around and try to draw these, these deep stories out of them. So yes, like New York is a very special place, but is that currently what make, gives the blog a power? I don't think so. Um, I just think it's kind of the, the power in these individual stories, yeah.